I'll, 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 you know, looking around, seeing nothing else is going to put, you know, going to put the arrows he had in his hand back into his... Good what work. Wait, arrows, I'm trying to think what it is. Good work, excellent, uh, excellent Quiver. marksmanship and swordsmanship. He sort of looks around. Wolves. All of that, all of that were training were for nothing, I suppose. <laughs> but wolves didn't toss this man on the pyre. He looks at, looks at the body. Someone else did. I shall uh, have a look around the camp, see if I can find anything else. Maybe, maybe some uh, evidence to what actually transpired here. Uh, Harkus nods and says, um, I, I would presume that it's more likely that uh, bandits, uh, it's most likely the bandits uh, had them and left for whatever reason, and the wolves just picked up the uh, the remainders of the slaughter. Most likely. It would be good to know what type of bandits we, have, we are dealing with here. So, and Amanda walks, walks, starts walking around and starts picking yeah. through the, uh, the camp. You will, you will see that each had a little bundle of things. It seems to have been rummaged through, indeed, um, sort of under their hammock. Um, it also uh, seems uh, that their swords are still laying here, just on the ground where they probably laid them. Uh, it, it seems that these men were killed in their sleep. Hmm. As uh, as uh, as well as inspection of the corpses will reveal deep throat cuts uh, having gone on here. If uh, if Andamanda looks at the blades, are there like is there? They're still in the scabbard. As he pulls it out, it's it's sort of it's crusted with dried blood on mm. it. So they had fought, not cleaned their blades, and then lay down to sleep. He f frowns, hmm, curious. One we of the uh, one of the blades is uh, has but an unusual hilt. Oh. It's not really valuable, but it has a, it has the emblem of a stag, very similar to the stag of Hasperathian, but without the crown on it. Mm. That's mm. a minor house, then. or it's an old blade from uh, before they assumed kingship, perhaps. He sort of frowns down at it. We uh, should bring these swords with us. The men also seem to have been, as Harkus sort of looks around, he's, he's pretty good with, with this. Uh, they seem to be have a very muscular structure, uh, clearly strong men. Uh, probably, maybe fighters in their own right. Hmm. Harkus will point this out, saying uh, there must be fighters there, uh, they're well built. The body on the pyre also seems to have been killed before being thrown there. Hmm. Although perhaps uh, was killed near it, or even beside it. Doesn't seem to have been dragged a whole lot. So, so basically, we don't really see any sign of struggle. No. It's just. It seems the blood just... around has been from wolves and birds uh, who've mm. been uh, pulling things. How many swords can we gather up? Uh, you can gather the uh, the five that I hear. Five swords. So five swords into one of our saddlebags. Mm. Five yeah. blood crusted swords. Yeah. One of them with a with a stag hilt. That's going into your saddlebag. <laughs> hmm. uh, curious. It is odd that uh, they would uh, attack this camp and not uh, take the swords. Uh, uh, those weapons are certainly not cheap. It sounds. Uh, it looks to me as if uh, this would be the work of uh, assassins. Normal bandits would steal everything that had uh, had a few uh, copper worth of value. So they yes. wanted to send a message. Perhaps yes. Or just to kill them off. Do we do we recognize any like the does the men have any the, emblems? The bodies on them? are completely unrecognizable. Uh, they've been they've been torn and ripped and and, and eaten from uh, probably a whole day or two. House emblems, house colors. Uh, you see nothing that really resembles it. It seems they've been dressed in sort of uh, maybe just hardened leather. Uh, or the like, completely destroyed now by by wolves lately, but uh, nothing that seems to make them make them appear noble in any way. Hmm. So either they they are mercenaries of some sort, or they didn't want to dress up in their colors. Hark is not, and says, either way, we should probably get out of this cursed forest and uh, get somewhere safer for the night. With, uh, yes, we spent too long. Yes, road. we should probably press on, find a more secluded spot away from this carnage. He nods. Uh, 
uh, I, I guess um, Anamander didn't uh, didn't either find any uh, more like uh, concrete traces of the attackers. Like, oh, he he a piece of mantle has been torn on this bush or something like that. Yeah. If he, if he looks around, he he seems like the attacker and likely knew what he was doing. Maybe there were a couple of them killing the men sort of in fast succession. Yeah. As there doesn't seem to be much of a much of a struggle having gone on. Uh, it, there is sort of a next to a couple of the bodies. There seem to be sort of blooded uh, rags, most likely used um, when you cut the throat of a man. You can you can sort of quickly at the same time have another man gag him. Uh, as to as to. He might wake up just the second he gets his throat cut, but he doesn't make enough noise uh, in a hammock that, uh, that others might wake up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really a professional uh, professional work, then. Yes. Hence uh, why... Someone uh, who knows what they're doing. That's why I thought assassin, because this, this seems a bit too clean for are we bandits. Are we still on Trevelyan land? Uh, no. This is, there's, there's, uh, there's a noble house who owns this land, but they are on the other side of the river. And generally doesn't use it for much. Okay, so we are we are far away from any proper jurisdiction. Like yeah, okay. there is not really much of a patrol here. Although it doesn't really. I mean, most of what comes here, uh, I like the the very rare um, iron men who who steal horses and then ride all the way in here. Mm. Uh, doesn't happen very often. Generally, there are better pickings elsewhere. The hills. All right. Yeah, we should probably press on, find a more secure spot. Yeah. All right. And be very alert. Among the rest. <laughs> you um, uh, you choose to to press on then instead of staying in the in the uh, gored up. Yeah. Area. You see the crows begin to gather behind you again, enjoying their feast. As uh, as it is now greater, and they can eat in peace. As you as you uh, yeah move move along. Uh, getting back to the horses, who still seem sort of, uh, sort of uh, scared and such. Especially the non-war-trained horses are very sort of frustrating to ride in this area now. Yeah, Jonas's and Harkus are going to be so <laughs> bonkers. Yeah. As, uh, as you continue, you find a, a, another secluded spot uh, near a small stream that might provide fresh water where you can camp for the night. Uh, a, a tent has been given that's not too hard to set up. Harkers would certainly know how to how to set up the tent. Mm. Harkers can set up tents. Easy. A standard, standard issue military tent. It's generally supposed to be for uh, for eight people, but uh, yeah. it's, not, it's not very warm or anything, but it'll do. And Amanda brew some tea that he slowly sips at, you know, staring into the fire, thinking. <laughs> Harkers will uh, stand at uh, the lip of the entrance, uh, watching outside, just just inside to stay out of any uh, any wind, but close enough to the entrance to see anything outside. Yeah. Yeah, I, I imagine we are on f fairly high alert mm. at this point. Perhaps because you do show imposed figures, or perhaps nothing really sees you, uh, for the night goes without much issue. And uh, the next day you can set your travel towards uh, a small small place called Dag's Inn that is uh, about half a day away. Mm. Uh, really. You'll get there about sort of late noon. Part. Late afternoon. As you as you set your your way on, uh, you don't really find much else on the on the road. Uh, not many other travelers either. As you uh, as you continue, uh, and then you see it at the roadside. Not really much forest here either. Um, just sort of a few trees, a garden the other side, a few houses. Uh, who, uh, who knows, might might live there. Most likely just the inn's uh, buildings. It has a, a nice sort of... Uh, it, it's it's sign, if you will, is a, is a, uh, a very foaming uh, tankard of ale being sort of uh, shook around by a, by a brawny man's hand. Which might tell you more about the place than much else. 
well, it is the first proper in we have, so uh, I uh, I suggest. Uh, I mean, we're, we're making fairly good time, right? How how long have we, yeah. do we do we anticipate the journey to take if we like we journey without? Are we gonna like arrive just in time? No, or? you should you should arrive a few days early. Okay, well that's good then. Then we can uh, then we can certainly uh, relax and uh, resupply at at the end. Yeah, yeah. There should be inns now for the next. For, for the remainder of the journey, really. Yeah, like That's we're we're message. close to the to the main roads enough for that, aren't we? Well, we we still are on, on kind of a main road. Remember, we house traveling. We can we can our own. Uh, a yeah, but we're, 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 we're on a decent road. road. Yeah, it's a decent road. It's a travel road. The road you go for, like this, is the road you travel if you're going towards uh, River Run and towards the uh, the King's Landing, where it links up with the uh, with the River Road and then the yeah. King's Road south. Yeah, yeah. It is a bit of a journey, and certainly a, a sort of bird flight directly would be easier. But in the Riverlands, you have to follow the roads because you have to find the bridges. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, as such, you uh, yeah, you can certainly make your way inside if you wish. There's a there's a stable, and uh, certainly a bored stable boy comes uh, comes toward to uh, you know get the coin and take care of the horses. As it usually works. Sure. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And uh, he sort of uh, walks towards you. Then, then he he sees you, and he seems scared for a moment, sort of gasping slightly, and then sort of looks around uh, for for other people. Had a matter of frowns and looks down at What's wrong, boy? <laughs> uh, nothing, my lord. I was just, I was just wondering, my lords, if, as if, uh, if you are the uh, Trevelyans that people are talking about. We... Lord, should I take care of the horses? So sort of. And a matter slides off his horse and nods. Yes, if you would be so kind. Takes it quickly and moves to the stable, then then quickly comes back for the rest. Seemingly not really really want to talk, but barely hurrying with his work. Nadia gets up her horse and looks questioningly at her uncle. Yeah, he frowns and says, oh, "He seems intimidated. Do I do I look so scary?" He ponders. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> Very well. Shall we avail ourselves of the comforts of the inn? I suppose. Hawk is not. <clears throat> well, let's Copy go your tokens then. There's an in map. There is an oh, in map. It took ages for me. To, it took ages to load, but it's loaded for me. Yes, yes. yes there. It does. Ah, yes. so there is. Actual pictures. You've got like it's one. Black. You've got one object that is really, really big. Oh. The, Look at that uh, little. I'm working on the sign. <laughs> well, yes, the inn sign. Do we have anything other than signs? Yes, as you enter the enter the inn. Just give me a second. You come from down here. I can't see yet. I'm still loading the second. I'm still, still a bit. I'm still loading. Also, I I am I'm still just flabbergasted at your compatibility. It's just <laughs> I, 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 I spent a two lot. thirds of his starting experience. It's, it's like yeah. no he's one. A, he's a amazing. He, he is. He spent he, like he, his entire life training as just that. That that is his life's purpose, effectively. Like the, yeah, you, you're you're like as good or if not better than like um, the the oh, I'm forgetting the name. The trainer of of uh, Arya. Yeah, he yeah. would probably be better than him. Yeah. yeah. Well, another fighting style as well. It could. Oh, it, it could be like a. Uh, if you think from. Uh, you, you're one of the best, like in the kingdom. Yeah. Like, if there's you, no one. If you think of it as <laughs> <That's> like. <fine. laughs> well, no, the ones that are the ones that also have seven uh, specialty dice. Yeah. If, if you see it like this, uh, if if you remember in Gladiator when uh, the fake. Uh, Emperor is like fighting off five guys in training. 
That that's like Harkus in training. He he it's the only way that really pushes him with average guards. Oh no, everyone is black and white in here. Oh, yes, you get used to that for this adventure path. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. I, 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 I should have chosen the black and white token. Because I'm not going to call them. All right. Sure. Okay, Good so you could only find black and white? Yeah, use the black and white. That's so disturbing. All right. I should try the black and white version of my picture. But, uh, sure. Well, well, as you walk in... Uh, oh, God damn it. His... The... <sighs> what? His name is so similar. <laughs> man walks uh, walks forward, sort of spreading his hands out. Then he sees you, and his heart, his his face sort of grows cold. See as he looks at you. I remember, you know, frowns. Are 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 the Trevelyans disliked in this part? Uh, I mean, not that he knows of. It's quite a long time since he's travelled. Well, yeah, he walks up. Says. Me lords, and does an overly uh, deep bow. As we don't want any trouble. We are not here to start any trouble. Marcus. As uh, as uh, uh, my lord Aiden said, we are not here to start uh, any trouble. We are here Good, because we don't want any. You looking to rest? Indeed. Would be all. Tavern is sort of very. Quiet, except for a uh, for a man by the by the by the uh, sort of uh, the fireplace who is uh, who is uh, who's eating, mm. looking at you. So if he seems to be rather big and brawny, probably a regular. Har uh, Harkers will uh, take off his belt with his sword attached, walk to the table, put it down, and take a seat. Mm. He's, he's tired. Uh, yes, see that we get uh, refreshments and uh, food, also water the horses and uh, supplies, etc. Uh, if you if you present me with the uh, with the bill, I shall see it paid. She sort of trucks off as the woman behind the bar, a rather large, uh, matron-like woman, and says, uh, "And you be leaving in the morning?" Yeah. Yes. We're almost full here. We don't have much room for. Guests. Harkus sort of, looks uh, over and frowns. Hands into her sides. Nadia looks we know you're kind. We don't take kindly to you. What? Uh, oh. says, uh, <laughs> you can sleep here, but you're gonna get you. You what? must be away in the morning. Harkus gets up and says, uh, uh, "I I wish not to offend, but that is no way to speak to a lord." Indeed, you should show uh, you should show, uh, show Lord Trevelyan the proper respect, my dear woman. <laughs> Even if you do not find it uh, appeasing for uh, for you to have her as under your roof, uh, I would rec would ask you to show the proper respect. Nadia looks at the the woman. And sort of begins to sweep over here. She sort of looks uh, looks perturbed at this ask for respect. Puts her hands aside. I am the lady of this house, and I know you're kind. You'll get what you want. We don't want any trouble. Me lady, and adds. Nadia looks like a guy. Yeah, he, she is dressed up. Yeah, she's. She looks his own. Yeah. Unless she. <laughs> Hark Harkus what does she know? Or what? Harkus steps forward and says, "It's my lord." <laughs> well, whatever. We, we sort of shrug and That's just uh, see to it. Very well, my lord. Just see to it. Nadia looks really confused. Harkus is standing particularly tall. He's he's like a tower at this point. Uh, no, doesn't seem intimidated. He doesn't. While the while the man in the, in the by the by the pyre seems to be uh, kind of aggravated as he looks at you. Well, as if they if they start getting the refreshments out and stuff, we'll we'll go to our table. We'll get some ale. You'll notice that the prices here are very high for a uh, roadside inn. Probably Certainly. getting charged extra. Of course we are. Mm. Well, as that's going on, uh, Anamanda wants to talk a little bit more to to the uh, to the bar woman. He will in try to engage her in intrigue. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Basically, right. he he wants some information. What the hell is going on here? Because this is not how uh, House Trevelyan is usually 
uh, met on the roadside. Yeah, all right. So intrigue then. So, man, is it I'll, I'll when he's move, moving over to. I'll we'll go into an intrigue. Uh, as no one else seems to be involved in this sort of slight interaction, we will make it a simple intrigue. Intrigue. What do you use for intrigue? Uh, you use your persuasion and and sort of. Uh, <laughs> Deception uh, and talking and power. Yeah. Yeah. In this case, what you want to do with the intrigue? In this yeah. case, we're doing a simple intrigue, so it's just one on one. Yeah. Uh, you could join if you wanted to, though. Uh, my persuasion is only two. Let me. Yeah. This. Yeah. yeah. You know. You know. If you wanted, I could join. I have five persuasion. Right. Five You're in the bar. Uh, sure. She feels secure, so she is not gonna be threatened easily. Sure. Uh, Do not try to place. Um, as for dispositions. Uh, she is certainly unfriendly to you. That is her way of talking to you and behaving. Unfriendly. How would you say that you you talk, speak to her? Uh, he will be uh, he will be indifferent. Uh -huh. Yeah. What's her? All right. So let's see. She's unfriendly. That means that she is not. Uh, easily swayed. Uh, yeah, persuasion doesn't really work. Her. Yeah. Uh, so I can't, I can't really sweet talk her. But nope. I can perhaps, uh, you know, do a little trickery to see if we can get something. And uh, you will begin because you undoubtedly have more status than her. Yeah. Bye. I think I, I think Harkers might have more status than her. I think most people. Which likely. Yeah. I mean, there's, assuming, there's assuming I'm a common have... woman. Yeah. Yeah, they have one. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Harkins definitely has. <laughs> so, uh, look, you will begin. All right, so he, he will begin. What is your goal here? My your... goal is to find out what is going on and why we are, yeah, and why we are so, uh, so rudely uh, greeted, because yeah. we are Type... certainly lords of this area. Type simple, scene is a bar. The objective is information. Yeah. Their object objective is probably not to give information. No, her objective is, uh, yeah, she, she basically is she's not really interested in it. She wants to be standoffish, effectively. Uh, but for now, uh, you kind of initiated, so. Yeah. He's, uh, he's going he's to try, he's gonna try the, uh, the bargain route. You know, maybe, maybe a piece of silver or, so, or two could, uh, could loosen her, uh, uh, her tongue a little bit and see it more amiable. You know, we're certainly paying a lot for... Uh, mm. What you're you're offering her her money in exchange for better behavior, or for for telling you what's why. Why he's he he's say he's basically going to say that he is somewhat surprised that uh, how Trevelyan's uh, reputation is is so bad uh, out, out here. We are not far from the house uh, holdings after all, and he is uh, interested to to learn like why why this is actually going on, and you know perhaps if. She, she would tell him we can, I can sort of, you know, start, uh, start over and maybe have a, a more profitable, <laughs> you know, a more profitable working relationship. We buy more drinks when we're not anxious. <laughs> we a, buy more drinks when we're not anxious. on the table. Yeah. Yeah. If, if, All right. Yeah. You can. You, that seems. That seems okay. You can roll your. All right. If we're not threatened, we'll buy more drinks because yeah, then so Harkus, a, Harkus won't is, want to be. Bargaining. Yeah. Yeah. Drunk in a fire. It's a persuasion bargain or a deception bluff. I am decepting. Yeah. So you're lying. You're not really going to pay him more. No. <laughs> not going to give this peasant we a silver pay, stag. We're already, we're already sure. paying a lot, you know. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> She's That's, basically uh, going to be like, yes, yes, this is why. And you're going to go, good, walk off. <laughs> All right. That's certainly uh, intrigue defense. That certainly beats her uh, her intrigue defense. How many degrees? It uh, it um it does by uh, enough degrees that she is gonna be frustrated instead. <laughs> Just Gary being frustrated. Okay. She gets frustrated at the offer, and uh, and she will then uh, she will then re return with um. <laughs> we don't necessarily know what she's doing, but. <clears throat> yeah, I'm um, looking here. She wants convince. Uh, she will. She will indeed uh, try to convince you to uh, to just sleep okay. and then leave in the morning. And she will do that. 
try to. Twelve. Uh, doesn't beat. All right, so you're not touched by her by her arguments that you should just take. I'm not interested in your money. You should take it and go and use it for something else. Maybe to clean your weapons once in a while. Hmm. Well, she's very unfriendly, and he will have to say that this unfriendliness is, is truly unbecoming of, uh, of, uh, of her house, surely. And uh, there is nothing, there's nothing to fear from House Trevelyan out here. Uh, the house has a very good reputation. Unless, of course, she, is, uh, perhaps, she perhaps knows something about the different... Uh, uh, different... Uh, uh, recall the, the 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 bandit attack that we that we watched on our way in, and if she does, she kind of owes it to to us to tell us anyway. <laughs> he will he will try to go that route, sort of move her to convincing her, convincing her, yes. The convinced persuasion or deception act. Uh, it's a it's a convince. Yeah, it didn't sound like deceiving. No. Right. That's uh, that's enough that she will actually actually uh, budge, and uh, yeah, she'll say, "Fine then, if you really wish to know." Says, "We heard that you have been killing off people like us." Amanda Quite the fine man said it too. And Amanda frowns deeply. That is. Completely preposterous. House Trevelyan is not a bandit house. We are uh, very keen on seeing security on the roads. And so you call House Dennett a liar? He was the young, young sire, I tell you. The heir to their house. He himself said it right in this house. House Dennett. Yes, House Dennett. What well, does Anamanda know of House Dennett? That would be knowledge, I believe. Well, House Dennett is going on enemies list. Yeah. All right, knowledge one begin. <laughs> you know, this is being this is being overheard. You know, maybe yeah, maybe from a bus or something as well. Mm. Knowledge. I only have two. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. I paid attention in class. True story. Mm. Well, I didn't. I was like fighting. So what's the highest anyone get? Twelve. What did you get? Twelve. Twelve is that all enough? Hmm. Yeah, it's all enough to know that uh, that House Dennett has the uh, has the uh, banner. It looks like this. It is a uh, a pomegranate fruit pierced by an arrow. Oddly specific, but okay. I don't know. They also know that they have holdings, uh, actually, actually not very, very far from you. They are, they're, uh, I'll mark them over here. Yes, uh, dark green on the main map. Dark green. Ah, wow. there. Quite Further close. into the hills. Yes. Wow. Mm. The other side of Moltrin. Mm. Yeah, basically Moltrin is between you. Have we had uh, bad relations? You haven't really done much with them, uh, as it is. Um, you know that the house is... Uh, uh, how's uh, how's Dennett? It is a, a minor minor house. The words are eat bitter, grow strong. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, they're not uh, they're not very renowned, sort of. Um, however, they they are known for actually being the 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 one family in the hill area that actually is trying to to sort of do agriculture as their main main source of income. Doing very very bitter fruit. That's not very, very there's not a lot of sweetness in it. Um, but they do produce it, and it is uh, what feeds most of the uh, of the cattle and and goats and horses in the uh, in the hilly area here. Mm. Um, it's a rather large farming community. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, they they mostly did something similar to yourselves actually when the in the uh, in the um, War of the Usurper, they uh, they they actually sort of switched their support back and forth uh, a few times. Um, not really being sure which which person to which side to be honest it was. All right. Well. Their uh, their members, uh, their their heir, the lord of the house is Alfred Dennett, uh, who whose wife died many many years ago. Yeah. Well, uh, Anna so... will will basically tell uh, my good woman. It is uh, you. This must simply be a misunderstanding, and he will you know he will talk to her a bit and and try to convince her that this is all. This is all preposterous, you know. We've, we've, he said uh, it himself. He was furious. You had killed a dozen peasants in a whole little farming community put to the sword and the torch. He showed us one of your shields as a mark showing that your men had done it. So it was but, the son of House Dennett? Yes. Uh, he was going to the tournament. <coughs> Oh, he's going to a tournament, isn't he? There you it? go. What's his name? What's the name of the son of the house? Adam. I shall kill this Adam. Adam? Adam. Oh, you will do it. nothing of the sort. -E -A -A I shall, no, I shall right duel him F. for the honor of our house. <laughs> Watch him crumble. He's furious. <clears throat> yeah, you know. It, it's under. easy to replicate a shield. I can, I can certainly understand his fury if he was uh, he was led to believe that such an act was taking place. But uh, do believe me, my good woman, that when I say that House Trevelyan has done nothing of the sort, uh, it will it will be completely uh, completely ludicrous uh, to uh, for us to do something like that. House Trevelyan is only interested in the prospering of the region. Putting peasants to the sword is uh, simply lunacy. Most likely, it was a, a group of bandit or uh, bandits. We also have had our people attacked by such. Maybe a shield was lost in the engagement and used by the bandits in, in, in attacking this farming community. That is the only reason I can see for them to, to have it. The, lo the Castamere song is playing now. Reigns of Castamere. We should kill them. <laughs> And now you said that you had murdered more men up the road? No, but we found a, uh, a caravan that was attacked a couple of days ago. Perhaps you should keep better control of your men. Even if you do not know of this attack, it's sure it happened. You would not lie. I, I do saw not, the uh, shield with my own eyes. He's bringing it before the king, I hear. Frowns. I see. Good proven witnesses, too. He had witnesses with him. He says, yes, I believe so. I didn't speak to them myself. Curious. Curious. Well, well, know that the uh, the men did certainly not come from Trevelyan lands. As I said, most likely bandits of some sort. And this is not Trevelyan holdings, after all. It would be the Just local lord, whatever his name is. <laughs> well, do you... I don't see the lord of your house with you here. Perhaps he simply did not tell you of this. It's not, not unheard of for nobles to not care about the small folk. But the heir of the house is... <laughs> and Anamander, you know, his eyes thin dangerously at this woman. She seemed to have worked herself up to quite a, an agitated state as well. Mm-hmm. Well, the man is very sort of bending his his, uh, his neck as low as he can as he sweeps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Same so, spot over and over. So mm -hmm. clearly he doesn't approve of his wife being such a... She seems certainly to be the man of the house. How? Yeah. Well, Al Anamander, Anamander nods to, uh, towards him and says, Well, my good woman, uh, you, have, you have been very helpful, and thank you for being honest. It is certainly a quality I, am I, I admire. I suppose then if... You really did not know of this, that I can't blame you personally for it? 
that would be very gracious of you, my lady. He smiles. Well, then you can, you can stay a little in the morning as well if you really need to. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Nadia okay. is just clenching her fist. No one talks that way. The man in the, by, the, by the fire is still just eating, looking at you. Mm -hmm. uh, Slowly chewing on his chicken. Mm -hmm. Does he like, like look at us like I, I fucking hate those guys? No, he, he's he's more like inspecting you and listening, mm -hmm. almost like you're his TV. Right. <laughs> yeah, he's probably he, all the entertainment he probably gets is seeing uh, travelers come to his local. He certainly, he certainly just seems he certainly seems to have been sitting here for a long time, mm -hmm. watching everything. The seat has a perfect in a uh, perfect indentation of his ass cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and suddenly when he his eel is running out, uh, Dag here uh, brings him a new one. Sure. In in exchange for a silver, which the man seems to handily hand out. I don't suppose we recognize him. No, you've never seen him before in your life. Can the barmaid give us a little space? Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's also very timid. She looks over to uh, to the woman behind the bar, not really wanting to. In uh, sort of, she does seem very curious as she looks at you. Uh, very bright eyes, really smart mind. I, I don't, move on, very so. attentive. I don't. Uh, but but currently under the uh, under the yoke of uh, of the woman behind the bar. I so. I don't need a bastard. <laughs> Just say that. No. <laughs> Well, that that makes things awkward with the family relations. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, and, how uh, I made a bastard with a woman. Depend, uh, rego you know, I, I, I assume we'll go back in the in this room. I, I assume that Meg Moleskin, uh, her her volume when speaking is probably pretty. It's loud. Considerable, yeah. Well, while Alamanders is always seems angry. Yeah. Well, Alamanders is quite low. And he will return to the table and look very grim when he sits down. Well, so does Nadia. This is very troubling indeed. It feels like a trap. You know, it's, yes. Father would never have lied to us. I have heard nothing of uh, raids into neighboring villages. We, we raid. The, the Lord never even sent, rarely even sends the guards out, out, of the, out of the garrison. Parkus nods and says, uh, if he wanted anything killed and killed quickly, he would probably send me and... Well, I never went anywhere. I haven't been anywhere for a while. She called me my lady. Yeah, you know, Alamanda Nons uh, paid no mind. Uh, she... Sort of glad... <laughs> because you look feminine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was most likely a slight. She, she assumes that you're a man, but calls you a woman. Oh, so it was uh, an insult. An insult oh, an insult. Yes. Thinly veiled. Yep. Very. <laughs> well, it was. It was quite late. I mean, <laughs> she is. Uh, she's lucky that we are in such a magnanimous mood after all. Hmm. It looks around. So, since when would House Dennett have any information anyway? They're. They're really. Aren't, aren't they really deep into the mountains? Um. And Amanda sort of tries to recall back, has he read anything about House Dennett when it comes to like their ambitions? Have they sent any like missives or anything to the house? Have they, has, has there been any, in the past any guff between Trevelyan and Dennett? Like have we, have we sure. fought? Can you a memory? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've got identic <laughs> memory, bro. Is this that... pictures from the book? What picture? I think so. It's open to use. Oh god, that's triple six. What those people look like? Black and white. Uh, Harkus looks to... Uh... Yeah, uh, you will remember that actually uh, actually in the in the War of the Usurper, they, they, the, the head of the house was still alive. Uh, mostly uh, supported the Targaryen side. And he actually, his, his people uh, broke down many of the smuggling uh, and taking the iron for themselves. So there is since, some then, since then, he has not really had much of an interaction. You still, you I mean, you do feed the pigs back at the at the, the, the keep village, uh, like beads from their area. Mm. So. But he was a staunch sort of supporter of the 
Targaryen side, even if he wavered back and forth, not wanting to anchor his leech lord, likely. But that was some time ago, right? Yes, that years ago. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, it, um, it is certainly troubling that they're trying to ruin a, a reputation like this. I can't say if it's premeditated or if they are actually being tricked. Nevertheless, if this uh, Adam is uh, traveling to the tournament as well, uh, we should no doubt meet him there. Then maybe we can what, find out. Just what reception will we all meet? I am sure it will be a frosty one if he does truly believe this. Nevertheless, we need to investigate this further. House Trevelyan has a stellar reputation that we must protect. The jewel for honor isn't uh, isn't uncommon in this uh, universe, is it? Hmm. Mm? A duel for, like, honor of the house. That's no, that is not uncommon at all. Actually, yeah. when you are attuned of a crime, you can even demand to do the justice by fighting. Yeah, uh, by the yeah. winner assumed yeah. to have the gods' graces. Okay. Who just Harkus uh, forward, try by yeah. combat every time, just to keep him yeah. up. Harkus has the will of the gods. Uh, many houses have survived in such a way, blatantly murdering rivals and then simply fighting their way out, until they usually get uh, overwhelmed by others who simply do not care about the law anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Harkas will look, look to uh, the group and quietly say, um, "If anything, I can, uh, I can just challenge uh, his honor in a duel." Um, well, 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 I think I think this is not the best way to open the conversation. Not outright, but if he if he decides to bring this to the king and we get a frosty welcome, perhaps the easiest way to make this go away is just by. Uh, you also uh, know that these duels are always to the death. Mm. Uh, that makes it more awkward. And Amanda yeah, frowns a little bit. Uh, perhaps it is certainly an effective solution, given your skill with the blade. Uh, most uh, most likely a successful one. However, I'd rather not start by murdering the heir of House Dannet. Uh, the first thing we do in King's Landing. He nods and says, no, I just... I imagine it as our last resort, my lord. From, from what from what that woman said, we're only a day behind them. Hmm. After some time, and you've been you've been given food after about half an hour. You can hear the work from the kitchen. Uh, most likely, Dag is, is is making the making the food, and uh, Meg gets sort of uh, goes upstairs. Most likely to prepare bedrooms and such. Mm -hmm. uh, Leaving you to your to your food. Did uh, the big, so, uh, big with uh, uh, Gianna introducing her slightly and saying, "Of course, she's at your service, and if there's anything you want, uh, you need but to ask, and she'll she'll bring it to the attention of uh, of Dag and Mac." Could she? Could you probably, when when she you know comes to serve some ale or something, uh, another man will ask about the man in the corner, hmm. one that shifted closer to our table. Yeah, I, I'm noticing that too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she will say that that is uh, that he is is one of the regulars, my lord. You said sort of in low voice, just assuming yeah. that you don't want him to know that you asked. Yeah. Uh, they call him uh, Gath the Barrel because he can hold so much ale. So he, he come here often, taking work from many different men who, who come visit him. He he always has good 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 gold and and almost always stays here for a long time. And the man who looks him up and down does he seem to be a fighting man? Uh, yeah, but not really a skilled man. More like a man who's willing to fight people who don't know how to fight themselves. Mm. Hawk is kind of uh, grimaces at the... Uh, holds a lot of ale and, and just kind of... Uh, a, a man with no... no honor or pride, clearly. I, I wouldn't say that to his face, but he has started brawls before. Hawk is kind of smirks. <laughs> Because he's about fourteen years old, sort of looks at you, clearly, clearly remembering pretty much everything she sees about you and everything you say. She says, "I, I wish not to start a fight, but uh, I, I do not see the man as a threat." Well, after his last work, he seems to have plenty of of gold. And when was his last work? Do you know? 
It is uh, recently, just he came here uh, yesterday. I see. Eyes thinning. <laughs> it is uh, peculiar that the timing is, uh, is so convenient. Yeah, it's very peculiar. And Amanda looks at him. I should perhaps have a little talk to him. If, uh, if you don't mind, I would rather be closer in case the man is too drunk. Ah, don't, don't worry. The man won't stab me in front of you, all of you. He smiles. Okay, let's we'll switch to combat. <laughs> yeah, he nods and says, "As you wish." And Amanda will get up and uh, you know wa make his way over after after an hour, half an hour, or something. Hmm. Sure, he sits here. He's done eating now, but at the at the just has an ale.